Hey guys, this is Roger from Roger's Rigs. I want to show you how to handle smelt. Uh, one year, years ago, my buddy and I went lake trout fishing, and we bought some smelt for bait, and we jigged some smelt, and we caught no lake trout. And at the end of the day, we were looking at our bait bucket, and his buddy stopped by, and he's like, well, how'd you do? And we said, well, we're going to eat our bait, so that'll tell you. And we weren't too excited because it looked like it was our bait. And then you learn that actually these are pretty good eating fish. Uh, so I'm going to show you some of the ways that we prepare them. The size of the smelt matters. Like these little buggers, because you're eating the fish, the bones, everything. These little sizes here are about perfect. That's even a little bit big depending on your, your taste and flavor. Uh, so I usually, I mean there's a couple ways to do it. One is you could gut it just like it's a brook trout or something. Slice right up. Some people don't gut them or behead them at all. They are sickos or ogres. Uh, clean it out just like it's a brook, brook trout. Rinse that out and that's pretty much ready to go. Um, another way, sometimes a lot quicker, if you're doing a whole bucket full of these, is the scissors. One cut here, one there, and clean it out and rinse. Uh, then, one of the good tricks is Go uh, get yourself a, a bowl, put some milk in it, and put them in the milk in the refrigerator overnight. The lactic acid will actually uh, emulsify the bones and make the uh, make them a little less crunchy when you cook them up. I'll show you. I'll make a video on how we uh, cook these, but you can make them into just about uh, fried goodness, kind of like uh, chicken wings of the of the sea. You can bread them, fry them, especially when they're in milk. You don't even taste the bones, and they're really quite good. They're a screwy little fish. I mean, the things that got teeth on them, like a barracuda, they'll eat other minnows. They'll eat other smelt, for that matter. They feel rough, and they smell like cucumbers. I don't know why that is. They're also really attractive bait. Sometimes we'll take some of these, freeze them in a Ziploc, about a dozen of them, uh, and use them as dead bait. Fish will pick them up. Another great trick I want to show you if you're going to fish with smelt strips. You'll hear this used a lot, not just for smelt, uh, but also for uh, perch fishing. I take a fillet knife or almost any knife, slice down to the bone, and slice backwards, and you make this wedge shaped piece. Then hook it toward the tail once twice. That is an amazing piece of bait. It'll swim and slither in the water, smell eventually when they get into it they bite it and because of the wedge shape and their backwards teeth they'll actually get stuck on it and you learn to lift and drop. I've caught hundreds of smelt biting, lifting them out, going on top of the ice and dropping the smelt off. Never did they get hooked, they just got their teeth caught in it and wouldn't let go. Uh, Percher after that, everything likes that. There's something very unique and delicious about smelt for uh, for feeding fish and for feeding fishermen. Thanks for watching. Uh, there's more videos on how to prepare a lot of different fish, how we catch fish. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.